Hey everyone, and welcome to day four of Inktober. Today's drawing was actually a last minute decision. I had something else um, in store for today, but for whatever reason, it just kind of occurred to me that I haven't been drawing animals lately, and I really wanted to incorporate animals a lot this Inktober. And so far, none of my sketches that I did in Sketch Timber have animals with it. So I decided to go ahead and change that up a bit and draw someone or this girl in a bat costume or at least just wearing bat ears. And she is confronted by a very curious bat. I didn't start with the background this time uh, because I, was, I wasn't I was sure if I wanted to actually do a background. Um, that was kind of a last minute thing after I knew I was going to paint the bat and um, after I had her skin painted also and then I decided to go ahead and do a background. What's funny is that throughout the whole thing, throughout this whole process up until I ink with the Copic multi-liners multi and the Pentel brush pen was that I felt that um, feeling that you get whenever you're like in the middle of a painting and it it's like in an ugly stage um, and you're not quite sure if it's gonna turn out okay or if you're gonna overwork it or what needs to be done to it to get it out of that stage um, but I felt like that, but I still felt confident. I knew that once I lined it, it would look much better. Um, but it is definitely the ink wash and using ink wash to apply value and then using markers to accent it is still definitely something that um, is a challenge for me, which is why I really wanted to do that with this Inktober. But, the whole time, I just I couldn't stop laughing at myself because it really just did feel like like it was just in the ugly stage forever, forever of the painting. So um, I know that a lot of you probably experienced that too, so you know what I'm talking about. But after I inked, I could really see what I needed to do for the rest of the painting. So what I need to really work on is getting to that point before I outline or before I ink. Um, I still really like the idea of inking um, last, but I might end up trying at some point this month inking first and see how that helps my vision and helps my process throughout the painting. Um, I am a little afraid that it'll make me become a little bit too of a too much of a perfectionist during that. Sometimes when I ink first, I start thinking about it as like a coloring book page and then I have to stay in the lines and I can't really get real loose with the painting or the coloring of it. So that's why I don't, I don't like inking first too much. But like I said, I really like how this turned out in the end. I like the idea and the concept. Uh, looking back now, I probably would have zoomed out a little bit more. Um, but I think the up close big full illustration is a nice um, little change from what I've had. Like everything else, I've kind of painted on a half paper. And I'm because like I'm using each of the drawings on a two page spread by itself, even if it's not like a whole full page just to kind of give it like a nice um, feel every time you look at the new drawing. Um, and this one really will take up the whole two page spread in the Inktober zine that I'm putting together. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Although I will have to work on it a little bit in uh, digitally because I messed up the font when I was writing Inktober I wrote Inktober Day 4, which is fine, like how I usually write it, but the previous three I've done this kind of cursive writing and I didn't do that before, so I'm just going to have to fix that whenever I upload the images. So this will be kind of like a rare original piece if I don't do it. If I, as long as I don't make that mistake again, it'll just be a rare original piece where there's a, a mistake on it, which would be kind of cool. 
So that's it for today. I will be back tomorrow for sure. Thank you to my patrons, Julia and Elby. If you're interested in supporting my artwork in this channel, be sure to check out my Patreon below and you can get a shout out at the end of my videos, sticker pack, or even an original sketch every month. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.